This is my bicep pico. I'm going to show you how to separate your outer bicep from your shoulder so you get that nice crease here and a nice pop on the outside. What you're going to do is grab the cable in between, do one hand at a time, point your arms downwards, and that's where you want the end of the cable to be on the ground. Then you're going to take off all attachments and just use the ball. What you want to do is lean down at a 45 degree angle. So you're going to like about here. And you're going to pick up the ball of the cable. Your elbow should be slightly outward. But wherever it starts, you have to keep it there. Okay? You're going to pull your hand across your chest to the opposite chest. And you're going to squeeze, emphasizing right here. Your wrist and your forearm should not be flexing at this time. You're just holding it taut so your bicep stays still, okay? Your bicep and your elbow should not be moving or curling up this way, okay? Your arm should not go back to where the cable started. Your body should stay firm and still, okay? So, grabbing the bolt, across your chest. Squeeze, hold it for a little while, and slowly loose. You're going to do the same thing over and over, trying your best to keep your elbow still. And this is what I do to get that outer pop. is for my chat room friends who ask me about my bicep. To separate your shoulder and your bicep and get that peak that you all wanted, I'm going to teach you one technique. We're going to do a wide grip dumbbell technique. What I want you to do is relax your wrist. So you're going to lead with the ball of your palm or your wrist area where it connects. You're going to relax your wrist, grab a dumbbell, Open up your shoulder, pull in your elbow, put the dumbbell down, and you're going to squeeze into your own bicep, not over this way. Okay? You're going to squeeze into your own bicep. That's how you separate your shoulder from your bicep, and you get the peak here. 